Hello everybody, from Dropto Gaming, and today I'm going to be talking about kit cars. Now, I know not all of you of my audience are familiar with cars, but I've been in the scene for quite some time. And kit cars are pretty common, well, not pretty common, but they're a common subject of debate. Are they good? Are they bad? I'm a little bit on both sides. It depends. Some kit cars can be really good, but most are just Pontiac Fieros that have been mutilated into other cars, like you can see here. And this one is okay, I guess. But yeah, this is usually what they end up looking like. If you can't tell, this is supposed to be an Enzo, but uh, it it does not live up to the Enzo. And obviously it won't perform nearly as good as the Enzo. It's got a four cylinder and now there are some people who do really good kit cars and actually engine swap them so they have the same kind of performance as their cars and some kit cars are even better than the original and more so improved versions. We'll get to those later. Now this one specifically I just wanted to showcase it because it's awesome. Uh, someone built a Lamborghini Countach replica, but they couldn't just leave it at that. They made it a submarine. And so, to people like that, I highly applaud. Because, yeah, it's better than the original. But, I mainly wanted to focus on this. This right here. I, I Okay, so I tried pulling up their original website, but it seems it's been taken down. So the guy who owns this, not this website, this website's fine. Um, Foos Design, it, that's what it, one of its names was. They have gone from Chick Cars or whatever, I, I think, to basically AMG Customs, which is copyright infringement. One I found them under is Ferrari Customs, which is, again, a copyright infringement. And so many other names. So basically what happens, oh, you got copyright infringement? Boom, let's just, oh, let's think of a new copyright infringement name, and we'll go under that, and then we'll think of another one. Wash, rinse, repeat. You're probably wondering if this is legal, and it's not. Um, there's a lot of, uh, Japotlink, I, I'm, I probably butchered their name, but, um, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description to a lot of articles on this company. I was going to show you the website for myself, however, it seems they're not up and running, which is actually optimal. So, hopefully, they've been taken care of but short story they've been running for about 10 years under a million different names and the guy has fled to I forgot what country it was but he fled to another country is probably paying the authorities to get away with it and he's also the same man behind the Devel 16 so Sorry to burst your bubble, but that car is fake as well, as many other people have kind of caught on to. I'm actually very late to that to that game, but I would I just wanted to mention it because well yeah. So this is just one of their other names. I'll 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 leave a link to all of these sources. Okay, these two are obviously just a quick Google search, but so, if you are legitimately looking into a kit car, I will recommend some good kit cars, and if you're like most people and just want to drive a fancy car, like for example, Lamborghini, or whatever, and you don't have a lot of money, I have a solution for that as well, and it's a real car. And, yeah. So this is Factory 5. They're pretty common with Ford replicas, and they, they also do hot rods, obviously. And they, they have this, which is really cool. This is also a really good one. It's based off of a Subaru, I know that. Um, but yeah, the short story is most of these Cobra replicas are built off of Mustangs, and they actually outperform the original Cobras. 
And since they're four based on Fords, you can actually go and find the engine that the Cobras were based off of and then modify it into your own Cobra engine. Which is actually not near as expensive as it sounds, but they're basically a body swap for a Mustang. And this company, Superformance, provides it as well, but they also have a licensed replica of a Ford GT40. If you don't know, this was the car that basically was made to insult Ferrari. Ford was in a deal, well, they wanted to buy out Ferrari, and they're like, yeah, you can never build a car like us. And so they built this to basically make them mad. And so, yeah, it was so good, it actually got banned from Le Mans, but that's another story. Um, there are a lot of different ones. Let's take it to the base one. Um, now, from what I've gathered, this car costs about $200,000 to build. However, it is an exact replica. And, yeah, it's... And it's actually, this is really uncommon for replica cars. If you find an original Ford GT40 part, you can actually bolt it on to your replica car, and in theory, if you get enough, you could make an actual Ford GT. So, that's pretty cool. And this is the part in the video where I showcase that car that I said, like, if you're just looking for a Lamborghini or whatever, or you just want to drive some exotic car that will get you noticed, I've got a solution. The Lotus Elise and the Lotus Exige. Oh, crap, that one has an accent. Um, Alright, I'll have to find another one, but point is, the Exige and the Elise are made by Lotus. They Now, they use a Toyota engine, which makes them really reliable. I mean, come on, these look really cool already. They're they're extremely small, but they're they're powerful. And actually, a lot of people turn these into high-end track monsters, which are really a sight to behold. But they basically use the same engine they would find in like a Celica or Corolla, all that stuff. And yeah, but the Lois Elis is a good example of a car you can get that looks like an exotic car and but isn't very expensive now of course I'm not factoring in insurance or anything like that but I'm I'll leave the link in the description to both of these cars however I'm not sure this is a good one so I'll I'll still leave it in there because it's in the video but I will probably find another Lotus Exige. So, yeah. I just mainly wanted to shed some light on mainly this. And, again, I tried to find the actual website. And there's a whole bunch of other videos you can watch that I'll link in the description. That you probably should watch if you are legitimately interested in replica cars. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching, and this has been Replica Cars. Yeah, um, see you the next time.